In this video, we're going to show how to create a sketch and add some circles to that sketch. So once again, if we want to learn how to create sketches and add circles, we can first access the object model here and learn how we can scale through the Fusion 360 API to access sketches. The previous video talked about already accessing the application, documents, design, and grabbing the component. So whatever component we are working in, we can then grab that component and go and access the sketches collection within that component. So once we grab the sketches collection in that component, we can add a sketch to that collection. Once we've added a sketch to the collection, then we can then we can access collections within that sketch. So we could access sketch curves and we could come down here or sketch access sketch points. But what we're going to do is we're going to create a sketch and then within that sketch we're going to access the sketch curves collection and access the sketch circles collection and then we can add a sketch circle into the sketch circles collection and it will be inside of that sketch. So let's go back to the reference material here and go to the reference manual to learn about sketches. We know that we need to access the sketches collection so let's go down we'll find sketches here and you can see if we access sketches we can see the methods and we can see that we can create a new sketch by using the add method so here we can learn about the parameters needed and so if we don't have any optional arguments all it needs is the parameter of a planar entity so if we use the add sketches.add method give it a planar entity it's going to return a sketch and that's what we wanted in the object model we want to return a sketch once we've returned the sketch we're going to access the sketch curves and the sketch circles collection so let's once we've accessed those let's go to sketch circles so once we've accessed the sketch circles collection then the methods to add circles are all right here and we could do that in several different ways but for example if we wanted to ac to add a circle by using a center radius we can click here and we can see the parameters that we need we need a center point and a radius just like this and that will return our sketch circle so if we open up a sample we can see it there I've got a, a sample as well right here so we've got our radius as you can see we've already like in the last video we've grabbed the application the, the design and our component and then within this component we access the sketches collection we've called it just sketches we we also as a separate thing we've grabbed the XY plane and we're going to, to use the add method give it a plane and we're going to create a sketch just called sketch and then within that sketch we're going to access the sketch curves and sketch circles collection and we'll just call that collection circles and then with that circles collection we're going to add use the method add by center radius pass it in a brand new point and that's what this code is doing here it's creating a brand new point and then we're going to give it a radius value which I defined up here and if we run this we'll open up fusion and we can see that I have created two circles with a uh, different radius one of those is on the edge of of the first circle by using the radius one here as the x direction now in this example both of these sketches are contained within this sketch if I wanted to have one of the circles in a different sketch I would need to add a per perhaps like a sketch 2 to the sketches collection and then this circle 2 would have to be based off of the sketch curves and sketch circles collection inside sketch 2 and that way you could create two circles in two different sketches.